Hey, welcome to my reading. So things are gonna be a bit different. I won't be reading cards. I'm just gonna be receiving messages. So if you're drawn to this uh, reading, then I hope that you're able to get the most out of it. Here's part one. Part two. Part three. Pile four. And pile five. Hello to those who chose pile one. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. And yeah, I'll just jump right in. So I heard a certain a lyric from a song. And what it says is like, I've been working hella hard. Shit ain't really working out. And it keeps on repeating that over again. The ancestors are mad at you? Unforgiving? And that's the quality you possess? And they're saying, why, why, why did you do that? I think I just saw roses. So I think what happened was, first off, the first thing that came to your head, and if this 100% resonates, then it's that. But this is for the people where they're like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't even do anything. They keep on giving you opportunities, especially this last one, and you keep on shutting them down. And they're just like shaking their head. And they're like, what do we do with this one? I think, look, I'm just letting you know. The reason why the ancestors would be upset with you is because they expect more from you. I'm sure that you have a relative where they're down the wrong path. You know, um, they're probably addicted. They indulge in horrible behaviors. And they don't expect much from that person, but for you, they expect a lot and you keep on denying and denying, denying, denying the opportunity. A variety of opportunities, because I think that you need to learn to grow, especially with the rose. Just saying a scenario, you could be someone who, especially with the GID song that came out, you probably feel overworked or you just don't feel the passion for life. And obviously they don't like that. So they're going to try to send you different opportunities to get you out of that. And you're not taking them. Maybe you don't see them, but you start being more aware of it. I'm seeing a Chinese dragon. It's red. And it keeps on whispering to, to me, don't go. You know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of symbolisms with, with red. So uh, I'll probably put up on the screen like what that means or the symbolism behind that and the red dragon, but this is your message. You know what? Your ancestors got a point. You need to stop being, un you're being ungrateful. You're either too stuck in a, like it's an innate cycle. Like it's you that's causing, that's holding yourself back. With the red dragon, I was getting, it's like, like don't go like, just to interact with me, just talk to me. And the red dragon probably represents like the opportunities that are coming to you, but it's the opportunities are genuine, are like relentlessly coming back and coming back. And it's like, you're so lucky that these opportunities are manifesting into your reality and you're not even asking for them. And there's other people I know who had tried to manifest an opportunity where they, they wanted success, where they wanted wealth, they wanted more friends, let's say, and it just didn't work out. And they just tried their best to work on it. And it's like, no, like you can't, you, you don't focus on that. You focus on something else. And my point is, is like, take it, take it, just do it, do it. You feel like you need a lot of self-work. 
And I think that you accepting these opportunities would mean that you would have to start the self work. And once you start, you you can't stop because that's you are taking accountability for it. Like I said, you got big opportunities for money and they're like knocking at your door. Even if it's just like people, like people wanting to still be friends with you and you just, you just keep on like keeping them at an arm's length. It's like these connections that you're gonna make with these people will make you rich. Like there's just something about money where it needs to be given to you. So yeah, I think that's why it's kind of upsetting the ancestors and the red dragons annoyed. Cause <laughs> I think it's well past his due date. That's my point. You know, like Akashic Records and stuff. I think that there was a, something written in time where you were supposed to receive like a, you're supposed to receive a lot of money, whether you end up building the wealth or you just receive it in like a huge amount. Let's say like you win the lottery or something, but you're not doing anything to manifest more money. And if you are constantly working, working and working, it's like, well, the reason why you're so miserable is because you're not taking the opportunities that the ancestors are trying to give to you to get a new job. Like start following your intuition because I don't I don't think that you are whatever path you're on. You're stopping yourself from improving and self growth. Okay, <laughs> that was it. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, I know sometimes it comes out as harsh in the readings, but I think it's gonna vary on the severity for on the severity for some of you guys, but. Uh, whenever I read, I end up reading for like drastic scenarios. So I was reading for like someone who was just miserable on their job. They're so grumpy all the time or something. And they just keep on letting life pass by. You know, you're not getting any younger. You're just getting older and older. It's getting more cranky, more problems. Okay, I just got to keep making money with this particular job. You're just being too stubborn with your perspective. Or you just, it's like the another the other energy I was getting was someone didn't want to move out of, out of their parents' house. They didn't want to have autonomy, basically take responsibility. But it's like the ancestors are like, come on now. Like, we got to start giving you like the money. We have to start giving you the luck already. Like, we, we can't stop this anymore. So that's why they're frustrated. It's a way past its due date. Whatever was supposed, supposed to be set and happen in this, in this timeline, you didn't allow it to manifest. And I don't think that the, they saw that coming too. They thought that you were going to eventually, but yeah. Uh, please comment if this resonated. Like, this is the first psychic like thing I've ever done on this channel, so it would be nice to know if this resonated with some people, you know? And you can like or dislike it and subscribe to my channel, and hope you guys have a great day or night. Bye! Hello to those who came to Pile 2. Okay, so I got the potato. The potato is like the main theme of this and I ended up looking up what it was because I'm like I don't even know what potato is and, Well, like what it means spiritually and it turns out it means uh, luck and love Which who would have known? I didn't know that and it also means stability and I think that like incoming wealth that could be coming And I was getting this song It's like a famous song. I just have no idea what it's called and it's like I can't speak. I can't speak you know the analogy I'm getting? <sighs> okay, um, I'll try to make this as PG as possible. So there's something called a vibrator that woman can use. And if you've ever used one, it's like, do you hear the song in the back? It's like that. It's like, oh, oh. like it feels good. It, <laughs> why did I do that? Oh, Sorry. Anyways, it's, <sighs> it feels Whenever you're getting started, you need to find the correct, like, I'm going to say the bean. Like, you need to correctly find the bean in a certain way and put the vibrator a certain way. But you, I'm saying that <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm pushing. Like, you're almost there, but you haven't found the bean yet. You know, like, to feel the ultimate ecstasy, it feels so good, like, to just feel the sensations all over your body. But I think that that's supposed to symbolize, I know that the, the potato says it symbolizes luck and love, but I think it means spiritually, like not like literally, like no, no offense if you're single or anything, but 
like you're on the precipice of a spiritual awakening that will give you new ability on just heightening all of your senses. Like this is like a mega awakening. Like this is like a mega trigger. That's more of like it. And you're almost there. And it's like, you just end up like, Oh, like you end up missing the, the bean. Like you it doesn't work out. And I don't think that you realize that you're missing the bean because for you, what you're doing is you're just like, I'm just doing my spiritual stuff. Like I'm just meditating. Like, Maybe you are working on spiritual abilities, but you're just like, uh, you know what? Like, it would be nice for them to improve. Like, I don't think you have huge goals to like be a psychic and to to like set up a shop and sell your services because you're coming up as more like not timid. It's more humble. It, it would be nice to have spiritual gifts. Like, I just I think you genuinely you're genuine with spirit and you genuinely love connecting with them. And obviously they see that they see your true self. You're a good person. They've been saving up this like mega gift. It's either going to activate powers or like, a, like, I mean, I'm sorry, abilities. It's either one ability that you've been working on. You're just going to hold, like, you're going to have it all. You're going to master it like real quick. It's like this enlightenment where they touch you. Either that or you're just going to manifest a bunch of abilities all at once and you're going to have to deal with that. And you don't even realize that you're on the precipice of this. Only spirit knows. And it's funny because I think that you need to do a certain action or you need to... <sighs> My personal thing with spirituality, you are given spiritual lessons so that way you don't experience them in real life. They're giving you lessons, and I feel like I'm talking to someone advanced, okay? So I feel like you can relate to this at this point, but you're doing the spiritual lessons. Let's say you end up failing, but then you end up also um, achieving some others. You know, like, you're just living and learning. That's what you're doing. And they want you to learn the specific lesson that they haven't outright told you. And it's like, they see that you're so close to figuring out it could just be a change in like a mentality and maybe the way that you eat or you're doing your everyday thing. And it's like, I, I like, I can't wait until you do this one action. And it's, it's going to be so simple, guys. It's going to be so simple. Like maybe I should just start working out more. Maybe I should just start contacting uh, other deities, other goddesses. Maybe I should ju just do like research into this type of witchcraft. Like it's something simple like that, an action like that, and ends up like, like boom, it's a domino effect and it just strengthens your ability because you end up changing, it ends up linking, okay? It feels like you're low key playing with the emotions of spirit. Like it's like you're taking them on a roller coaster ride and it's it's about to get over the, the top, the top peak. But then it ends up sliding back down. That's what I mean. I should not have said the vibrant. <laughs> so yeah, uh, congratulations. You're on the precipice to gaining a whole spiritual evolution. Like, um, I meant elevation. That's what I mean. You are going to elevate real quick. Like, it feels like a snap of a finger and you're, oh, like, you're receiving everything. Good job. It, it'll come within a matter of time. I don't think that they just want to push you and force you to do a thing because you have free will. Uh, so yeah, keep on doing whatever you're doing. That's all I'm going to say. You're following your spiritual path if you're on this uh, particular reading. And just enjoy your blessings. And <laughs> please comment if this resonated. Or if this is going to resonate later on in the future, it would be nice if you could come back and comment. So that way I know like these messages are coming true for people. And yeah, like, dislike, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night. Bye. Hello to those who chose pile three. Mm. There's this like old lady. And if it's not a woman, then it's a man whose hair, it's an old man whose hair was long enough to be in a bun. Well, I'm seeing thick eyebrows. Honestly, I keep on just getting imagery of flowers wilting. Maybe this is someone who has passed and you usually visit their grave and you need to refresh the flowers. That's a message for you.
or of someone who's this could also symbolize someone who's recently passed i was getting that one first then the this is someone who's already passed on um this person has a lot of negative energy uh towards people they could have died of a heart attack so yeah if you can continue listening if this doesn't resonate but if if you don't if this is not for you then just pick another pile okay but hey if you were totally drawn to this maybe symbolism or something yeah this person's dead uh, oh, i'm sorry passed on i feel like that's just too harsh to say it like that did tell me more about them if this isn't someone that has passed who you know isn't malicious, you know, who isn't mean, then the symbolism of what I'm saying is supposed to be that you need to give offerings to this uh, grandpa, grandma, whoever they, they were to you, okay? No one's, they're not getting enough offerings. And by offerings, I think that was supposed to symbolize the, the, the flowers dying. Um, they draw energy from that. They're getting weaker and weaker and I think that this is a very important message for you then, if you're intuitively drawn to this. But I guess I'll go both ways. The one where they're mean to people and they have negative energy, and for this one. Birds and brown, brown butterflies and birds is the way that they communicate with you. Um, not communicate, that's the way that you know that they're going to be there with you. It has to be brown. It's so weird. All the imageries are showing up sideways. Like, it's nothing but upright. I took it as symbolism as if, like, they're in the spirit realm and, like, they're not alive. Hmm. There's a name that starts with the C. I keep on feeling touches on me now. I heard Cindy. Um... But I, really anything with a C. They want you to know that you're not alone. Um, They're like... They're seeing you... I was picturing like a youthful kid. And they're telling the kid like, Come on, just take whatever gender they are. So just take grandpa's hand, just take grandma's hand. But they want to talk to you like that, but they can't because you can't see them and you can't communicate with them. They want to hold your hand and they want you to know that you're not alone. Uh, they're saying that they really miss everyone. And um, whatever religion they believed in, they're telling you to continue praying to that God or continue following that, that path. So I I was hearing like everything's in God's hands though, everything's in God's hands. So I assume that they're safe, okay? If you believe in God, um, they're showing me a picture of it's it's a really beautiful. It's supposed to be a patio, but I'm looking at the patio and it's a beautiful blue sky and it's in a white building. And there's like a, a white fan that's spinning around in a room. You see, may, maybe this is on the patio. Maybe there there's a little fan outside. And it's white. And it's just looking out. You know what? This could be a gazebo too. And it was just looking out at a white... Uh, I mean, at the, at the clouds. And it's such a beautiful sight, you know? This was the last message I was going to channel. So with that in mind, um, if that resonated with you, you know, maybe if you go there, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be there. There's a reason why they told me to bring it up. Yeah, I hope that this brought you guys at peace. Yeah, um, if you don't mind telling me if this resonated with you, because these are psychic readings. And this is the first time I'm ever giving one, so it would be nice to know if it helped you out, if it resonated with you guys. And I hope you guys have a blessed day or night. 
and please do like dislike and subscribe to my channel bye hello to those who chose power four i'm seeing a man with a man bun and a beard he was on the computer uh, there's someone spying on you or like hacking into your stuff or they have the ability to hack into your stuff and they just have your information and they can just use it any moment. This is someone who's really intelligent. Um, I'm getting someone who's socially savvy. I was going to be the character of, you know, the show Her on Netflix. Uh, it's the guy. Someone who's like charming, you know? They have two different lives, all I'm saying, because look at this stocking. If you have your windows open and you're at home, like, they will try to take a picture of you. Even just in clothes, like, if they could get a picture of you with alcohol, that'd be nice. It's, oh, you need to be careful. This is someone who will pretend to be your friend for years, just so that way they you can finally trust them to, to bring them in the apartment and that's where they'll like lay out like cameras like this is someone very strategic who is socially savvy and can just talk their way into anything and you need to be careful of them what they're saying is change all your passwords before you regret it try to put an alarm system guys if not put like two extra locks there um Make sure your windows are, there's no crack in the window, that you have curtains. They watch you a lot, like all day. Anyways, uh, if you're like, what, like stalker, like what, I don't even connect, connect with a guy. Say you have nothing but girlfriends. Then <laughs> that means that I think probably like a hacker has your information. But the good thing is that now that I'm telling you this, you could take preemptive action because it's like they have your information on top of everyone else's. Like they have a bunch of information on everybody and it's just waiting to sell the data or whether they're going to, I think that they want to use it, but it's just in storage. So you might as well take preemptive action to change whatever needs to be changed. Okay. I think me telling you this, you would have an idea of what they would know. If you, if you know that a long time ago your social security got leaked and you changed it, I think that they might have more information on you than just, than just the social security. They only have your number, um, your passwords to like two accounts. They can use just that information to get passwords to all your accounts. Like that's why I'm saying like, do like, you know, the two step verification, like, Make sure you got that down and I'm just warning you. And hey, you know what? If if the hacker never ends up happen, hacking you and if you did this, it was a good thing that you did this in general, okay? They're warning you now. There's a reason why you clicked on this reading. There was other positive ones. Reason why you clicked on this reading, okay? Please take action now to protect yourself from hackers or from spies. And you wouldn't no, you wouldn't even know about the spy. I think that you would just know by based on the, off of the description I told you. Yeah, just keep in mind that people are sheep in wolf's clothing. Isn't it the opposite? <laughs> a, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why the more I'm talking about them, the more like burnt out my brain's feeling. Like I feel like I'm like deactivating. <laughs> like a, Like my voice, I don't feel like talking. I think that's just a sign that I need to shut up. So that's all I have for you. Uh, if this resonated about the spy thing, I think you would know about the spy thing or the security breach. Please comment because I'm psychic and this is the first one. Why did I say I'm psychic? I'm sorry. You see, like, I'm not thinking well right now. <sighs> uh, this is the first psychic reading I'm doing. So it would be nice to know if it resonated with people. Please like, dislike, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night. Bye. Hello to those chose pop five.
I heard the word. I heard the word Sigma male. How they're like the males that every male should strive to be because they're independent and they're self-sufficient and they're leaders and they bring up other people. I'm sorry if I sound like sarcastic while saying that. It's just I'm now remembering what a sigma and what an alpha. No, wait, a sigma? Alpha? A sigma male is someone who like just doesn't really want to help anybody, just wants to go their own way and it's just independent, doesn't need anybody. Okay. And the color green, and I'm getting a frog. No, but the, it's the color green. But the the frog's the catalyst for something. It'll it'll make sense, guys. It'll make sense. I'll I'll get the message soon. So I was getting someone opening up the brain of a frog, taking it out, slicing it but they're fixing something and then healing the brain and then putting it back in the frog and the frog's able to work like normal you know what i think this is symbolism for um especially with the sigma male phrase i'm not surprised if you're a masculine energy honestly because this is coming off as very like like oh it's this way you know and sorry i need to get to the point you need to reprogram yourself because it's stopping your evolution. And the reason why I said that you feel like a masculine energy is because this isn't focusing on spiritual evolution. This is focusing on like the material evolution. You should look into being a Sigma person or Sigma male, Sigma woman, whatever, because I think you should try being more like that. Cause I think that if anything, you care about giving to others, but you need to reprogram the way that you've been thinking about society and relationships, okay? Because something about you attaining the knowledge, you know how whenever people say that like women aren't given like equal rights technically and women are still fighting and stuff, and you need to look more into that because I'm assuming I'm speaking to a male. So you, you need to look more into like how women are are um, oppressed. Not the wage gap, because I actually did research myself on the wage gap and it turns out women tend to pick careers that earn less money, which made a lot of sense like on the statistics and stuff. And it also makes sense for me because I could be, I'm really smart, I can make so much more money, but I'm doing some, okay. Anyways, my point, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm fine with my life, okay, and sorry. <laughs> I need to stop putting my bias, but my it's like examples like that. Another example in regards to like re relationships and friendships that that you have. You talk with a friend, okay? You think back to the conversation that you had with that friend, and it's like, why was I cussing so much, or why wasn't I telling them the truth when they were asking me about advice? Things that you do, habits that you do, like micromanage the habits that you have with the interactions around you. Because for someone who I'm talking to, you're someone who is too, you're not genuine. And you may be pure, but you're just not genuine. And it's because I think that you're being too, you keep on following the rules of society. You keep on, you think that that's the correct way to go. Like, okay, well, I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just own the, the family business. I mean, um, I'm bound to do it anyway. I'm the oldest son. I guess I got to do. But you're not thinking for yourself. Yeah, that's my point. You're not independent. You need to be, you need to do things a Sigma male would do or Sigma female would do. Okay? Because this is all about your bag. You can get your bag to a certain extent with this kind of mentality. But CEOs, millionaires, billionaires, I guarantee you they are not followers. And I think that you're a follower, someone who I'm talking to right now. So you need to learn how to be more independent and how to have more free thought. I would encourage you to practice critical thinking activities. Yeah, I'm surprised how horrible people are at it. God, like um, an example of a critical thinking activity is, the last one I did was I was like, okay, look, you see those lines, right? I'll give you 10 seconds and tell me the different ways, the different things that you, you can you can create with that blind. 
and and then then I will say, also you can go first, and then and, and then I'll go. Couldn't even think of anything. I was like, what? You can make a pattern out of it. You can like do your name, and like it's just like different things that you can do. You can hang a plant on it, and you can like make a hole on it just so, so that it's like aesthetic or something. You can decorate. Like my point is that you need to work on critical thinking so that way you can have more independent thought. Okay, that that that's why I'm saying that. Really rethink everything from society. I think you're the type of person that. Uh, uses social media a lot which there's nothing bad about using social media too much but the content that you're consuming is like of low vibration you're not looking up doesn't mean that you have to look up spiritual stuff but it's like cats and dogs you know adorable cats dog videos that is more high vibrational than watching like a fight like you need to reprogram everything really in regards to social media the way that you're portraying yourself like you're not authentically being yourself. And I don't even think that you know yourself truly. You may know a bit about yourself. You don't know your hobbies. You don't know different activities that make you feel happy. It could even be coloring for all I know, doing puzzles. That makes you feel happy. You don't even know what truly makes you happy. Whatever you think makes you happy is actually what makes other people happy. And I'm, I, I don't want to come off like if I'm scolding you. Or like, or like, you need to do this now. Where so, it's just, this is an intuitive message, and I know I'm gonna put a disclaimer where it said only click on it if you are intuitively drawn to this. There's a reason why you came to this pile. I'm just trying to help you out as much as I can, okay? Anyways, that was all I had for you. I just don't want to. I don't want you to think I'm scolding you anymore. But, I mean, I think that I think that we're we we've all been through this. I think that everyone's been through this phase in life. I've been through that too, where I didn't even know. I was being a follower and that's because I thought that I was pretty independent and but like my way of thinking the things I was consuming on the media so it can be more negative whatever anyways <sighs> um comment if this resonated if you would want to comment it's just because this is the first psychic reading I'm doing so it would be nice to see if this resonated with people and um I hope you guys have a great day or night please subscribe to my channel and like or dislike bye